Come out of there with your fish, though. Oh, nice. You can give your fish at home real quick. That full moon come. You better be here. <laughs> full moon getting ready to come back. Yep. Ain't been get right again. I don't know where we're at right now. Here's what we caught this morning so far. We just got started. You got a first person on now. Now they're all getting on. Put it right out there. Hold on, too shallow. Yeah. You got a cricket on there? Yeah, little one. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Well, I mean, you going to get him in here today or tomorrow? Hey, I, I do this all the drag will do. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, why? Look at Woo! That ain't got shoulders on it. Uh-huh. Well, that's good eating. <laughs> Morning, Charlie, from Mayville, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! He didn't even let the bobber stand up. That was a hell of a creep. <laughs> That's Billy's first miss of the day. Hey, it won't be the last, I promise you. I'm going back to get him. You watch it. He ain't going to do me like that and get away with it. Good morning, Terry from Michigan. Hope you're doing all right this morning. Morning, Jim from Indiana. Good morning, Freddie. Boy, put a new cricket on. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do. Not much live, huh? Good morning, Brian from Indianapolis. Good morning, Richard from Whitehaven. <laughs> Good morning, David. He said to say what's up, Toothpick. What's up, buddy? From Illinois. Terranovis is what he told me to say last name. Gary from Tilling Park said good morning, Billy. Morning, morning. Oh, he's, we'll definitely be praying for He had to cancel his trip because he's having heart surgery. Oh, wow, bless but you he's coming about a week after that. He just rebooked. <laughs> Brian said good morning, Toothpick. He said morning, rip some Brian, lips. Morning. I need lips. Adrian said good morning, put them in the boat. We, Just, we already got a few in there. And we're getting some more pretty quickly. Woo, already another one. You got shoulders too. You just weak. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't eat your cherry over this morning. Ooh, another nice fish. Oh, oh Billy's got one too. Good job, I mean, get out God almighty, look at this. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't like Daddy. watching that bobber go down, I'm grown. <laughs> right there's where it's at. Real foot bluegill. Blue Bank Resort. Four Eagle Boats. All of them make a deadly kind of I'm going to get another. That creek's good enough. It'll get another. What'd you Trying to hold that video and grab a fish was not my brightest moment there. <laughs> Good morning, Jeff. Trying to hold that video and grab a fish was not my brightest moment there. good. You do good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. You didn't lose the phone. You got the fish. You're right. I didn't do anything bad. It may not have been the best video y'all were watching. Good morning, Lee from Indianapolis.
Terry asked what we're fishing for. We're fishing for some bluegill. You can see him right in there. <laughs> Come on out of there, buddy, with your fins up. Good gosh, man, I'm telling y'all. Look at that. Come on. Don't get much better. They're on fire down here. You better get down here and see us, I'm telling you. Woo! Get one of the guys for the bluegill. We've got a lot here quick. Mormon Miguel from Indiana. He'll be down here soon. Sound good. Here, Fisher Fisher. Dennis Stillman said good morning. Dog's mouth jumping back here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dennis, what's happening, Dennis? He just went on. Yep, that's what he was about to say. <laughs> he said he put you on some great bluegill. He done good. Take it with me. He showed me right what is it? Good morning, John from Northern Iowa. I didn't even have to use the glass cleaning room. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing for bluegill. Yeah, that's what I'm Michael from Troy said good morning. Or hello. And he just caught some slabs of crappie Saturday. Some people caught some good crappie Saturday. Crappie's still biting too. Good morning, Jerry from Ringwood, Georgia. I got you. I told you I was going to do it. Oh, don't get around that little fence. Run <laughs> the other way, other way. Get out of it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. That is real foot bluegill. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all need to check out her packages and take advantage of them. It's that time of year. Prices are going down. <laughs> Got some great fishing. We got two day packages, three day packages, four day, five day, whatever you want. We got seven day. Include your room, boat, motor, bait, gas, and ice. Check them out on the website, bluebaitresort.com. I think you even got a link on Facebook you check them out, don't you? We do. Got a few posts going on, too. Yeah, they got it upcoming this weekend, Archer. Come <laughs> Can't even get out everything needs to say with you catching so much fish. Look like a tarpon jumping out of water yeah, there, boy. Come dude. on out of Gosh, oh, buddy. Woo. I'm telling you, I don't care if you're three years old or 80 years old. If you don't like watching that bobber down and pulling one him in on the other end of the land, something bad wrong. Terry said it looks like a beautiful day. Said awesome. Very pretty day. Got some. We sitting there looking at lily pads, cypress trees, <coughs> grass shoreline. We got all the scenery right here. Seen four or five eagles on the way out. Osprey, ton of blue hair. Ooh, and I think you were saying something about there's an arts and crafts festival oh, this yeah. weekend. I don't forget what that is. <laughs> this coming weekend, we got the Arts and Craft here at Blue Bait. Uh, a lot of local vendors. And I don't know what all they going to have. Bree keeps up with that. But they got a lot of good booths, a lot of stuff to be out there, be something to come to and see. I think they have over 50 vendors now. Really? Well, that's real good. But that'd be a good time for the hood from bring the wife down for the weekend. She can go to Arts and Craft and me and him sneak out here fishing. Get the cooler full, and then he can go back in and go to Arts and Craft and see But I even think they got information about that on Facebook or some more than on the website. I know it is. I think they have a whole event created. Bree did it. Oh, did she? Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing it. That's right. Just punch up Blue Bank, Arts and Crafts. It'll pull up. Or ask a question on there, and Bree will get back with you shortly. On. Get him, get him. Meanwhile, I'm going to catch feet. <laughs> Watch him. He's coming your way. He's running for deep water. I'm coming out of the Hold way. up, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> Whew. Mm. The main thing is don't panic, and it will happen. Oh, you ain't ever got excited, have you, Billy? No, I don't get excited no more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mike said those look like some nice bluegill. They are very nice. I tell you what, they're going to look better here in a little while when they all fry up golden brown. Well, that's actually perfect timing. Joey was asking, do you like them whole or do you like them filet? Either way. <laughs> Five percent of them I eat filleted. I feel like I'm another one. <laughs> Second miss. Oh, you didn't give me time to really get ready. Just gonna steal the fish. Even Watts said good morning from Daryl, Michigan. But it feels good up there right now. <laughs> Probably a little bit cooler than down here. Only. I'll still get one. Just because you missed it. You sure didn't even really look at mine, apparently. Don't blame him. You picked out one of them ugly creatures. You got to get a pretty one. You got to warm it up in your mouth, right? No, those were worms that we were told to warm up in your mouth. Dan from Illinois said hello. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, you picking out them ugly crickets. They don't like it. You gotta get it pretty. So Rob was asking, what do you catch those on right now? Bluegill. Mm-hmm. Cricket. Right here. Got a bunch of them in there. We got a slip bobber with a number five sinker and a number eight cricket hook, which is a longer hook than normal. And just set your depth, depending on your water, on your bobber stop. Ooh, Karen says she's good morning. She'll be down here July 11th. July 11th, they believe you'll still be good then. Catfish. Holderman asked about, uh, are there packages still two people? One person can't do it. Yeah, unfortunately, we do have a two-person minimum on these. We don't want a lot of people going out by themselves in a boat. Dan asked for your signature call for the fish. Yeah, fish, fish, fish. Let me make another cat, and then we'll do that. <laughs> Got to make sure that cricket's still nice and pretty. Gary asked what we're using for bait. We probably answered that by the time you were on here, but I'll show you again just in case we you were afterwards. Crickets. These things right here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm staring at crickets while Billy's catching fish. I think y'all would much rather see this one. Ooh. That's pretty bluegill. I'll show y'all everything we use. Here's a number eight cricket hook, number five sinker with a slip cord. Set your depth up there. But what we're using for bait is a cricket. Just stick him on there. I'm going to show you my old magic trick. See that cricket? I'm going to show you how to turn him into a bluegill. Let's see how long it takes him to do the magic trick. Shouldn't be long this morning. Tommy said hello from Glasgow, Kentucky. Glasgow, hello, Tommy. He says he looks like we're having fun this morning, that's for sure. We've caught quite a few fish this morning already. Whatever morning. Just waiting on this to get full. <laughs> I'm way far behind. Dan said strike two a while back. <laughs> so I'll catch up to y'all's comments eventually. That tells me how far back I am. Rob saying good morning from Manchester. Morning, morning. Robert saying morning from Kentucky. Wayne said long camp fish. Don said, oh, and good morning from Mississippi. I know you said something earlier. Morning, 
one down in Mississippi. Robert coming down the 15th through the 18th. He can't wait. Be a good time. Rex saying good morning from Eaton, Ohio. Happening up Eaton, Ohio. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm catching up more now. De Dan said, Billy, do your magic trick. I'm going to try. I'm going to have to go back where I was. Get out here with a big one, Jesus. As soon as he said he was going to do a magic trick, he jinxed himself. I'm good at doing this. Ooh. He was a blind old man. He could never do Gary said, thanks, guys. Can't wait to get out there to fish. Love watching you. Hold down, brother. Hold Even down. said you're the best. Uh -oh. He's my, he, he was all compliments all around. <laughs> Eric from Cincinnati checking in. Howdy, howdy. Let's see if I can see all of what you said. It's hard to see if it's longer. Rob said, I never would have thought of using crickets. He said, thanks. Rob was asking, do you have any recommendations for fish food when he's growing some bluegills in his pond? Yes, or go to co out and get that floating fish food. It's high in protein, them fish grow fast on it. They put some weight on it. <laughs> it does that pretty quick. We even feed it to the catfish here on the dock. Makes for some nice fishing at night. Pretty much makes it where you can even fish if it's a little bit windy for us. Mm -hmm. We don't want you going home without any fish. Gary from Indiana checking in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't know what's on about the thing you said there. I got out. Robert from Flatwoods, Kentucky said good morning. Morning, morning. No, Mike said you didn't know you could catch bluegill with crickets. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I never not use crickets. David from Grassy, Alabama said hello. Alabama. Ooh, it's Judy from Ohio. I like Alabama all year except for during college football. <laughs> it's about the only time I don't like them. I will say, I still root for them since they're SEC as long as they're not playing another SEC team. That's the only reason we can't beat them. Oh, he got off. Oh, that's strike three for Billy. Billy's about to have to hold the camera. That was two and a half. I had that note. Boy, little better. I'll go get you, buddy. Now, this magic trick again, cricket. Turn it into a bear hook while I go. <laughs> Just made it disappear. Yeah. That's right. Woo! Uh -oh. He done stung him off to the right out, Johnny. Yep. Yeah. Thought I'd get out of your area a little bit and see what's over there. Woo! Are you going to get him in? I don't know. It depends if he wants to come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. There ain't nothing wrong with that. He's talking about hand size. I got pretty good size hands. That's a good one. Yeah. He made too good for lead. Yep. Come on. We have Harold from Laysburg, Florida. Another team that I don't root for very much during football season. <laughs> We're trying to fill that cooler up pretty quick this morning. We're doing a pretty quick job of it. Anson Charles hoping to come down for some cats in August. That'll be a great time. It'll be on, it should be on them logs. Eh? Well, I know they will be. They will be. Oh, they always are. Dan said good morning from Illinois. 
Morning, morning. David from Lake Murray, South Carolina. South Carolina. That's more during basketball season. I don't root for them as much. <laughs> Ooh. Mike also another Mike said he didn't know you could catch bluegill with crickets. Well cricket the best bait is bluegill when they own be it. Christine asked if we allow group trips, that's what we recommend. Oh yeah. We have cabins that can sleep all the way up to fifteen people. And if you want to do a big group, we're actually doing retreats now where you can basically rent out the whole place. Ooh, Bree's on finally being able to reply to all of everything we said. She's replied to some of these before I had even gotten to them. <laughs> Judy asked what time's dinner. Ray said hello from Westfield, Indiana. Terry said happy fishing from Indiana as well. David said hello from Lake Murray, South Carolina. Lake Murray. Chris from Blowing, uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky said hello. Christine asked what's the price. The most common package people do is $369 per person. It's five days and four nights coming in during the week. But we have a variety of options from two days all the way up to week packages. Just depends on what you're looking for. Oh, Billy's catching a fish. We're moving, his phone's ringing, all kinds of things. Still lit now. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to catch fish and move the boat's a little bit challenging. Yeah, I don't know about that as many of them. <laughs> Matthew Law saying hello to us this morning, yeah, Billy. I'm glad. I'm glad you finally back to work. <laughs> you got to be at work or you don't need on the telephone, whatever you want. You just had the guys trip last week or the week before? Yeah. Last week. Be back in about four weeks. Mm hmm. Bring down the family the next time. I get to see my girls in. Gary Thornton said, can't wait to get back there. Said he hope you're having an awesome time from Ohio. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. We having a good time this morning. Fish are biting. Mm -hmm. Greg was helping us catch some more crickets. He does a two-liter body uh, two-liter bottle on his patio. Started combining those two things. Oh, right. Makes it nice and easy if you're doing it yourself. Dan's telling me it's time for me to fish. If I do that, then none of y'all can really watch. <laughs> We're not the best filmers in the world. Billy, you'd be staring at his feet the whole time. You'd be able to hear us, but you wouldn't see any fish. <laughs> Donald said two words I cannot say. It's the cheer from Alabama. I can't do it. Sorry. I'll say Rocky Top. That's about it. <laughs> Brian said hello, hello. Howdy, howdy. Ooh, Anthony saying beautiful morning for catching bluegill. Check it in from Houston. All the way down in Houston, that a boy. And it is a pretty morning for anything. And Dan asked, what part of the lake are you fishing now? We're fishing over Forked Pond. Greg said hello from Carthage. What's that, man? What's 
Tom just said hello. Brian from Ohio here. Mike said good morning from Indiana. Morning, morning. Jeremy also from Ohio said hello. Talk to how, how deep we're fishing. 18 inches. Wayne shared with someone, making sure their father saw, knew he would enjoy it, so they need to get down here. Troy said good morning from Illinois. Morning, morning. Apparently, maybe Michael answering it, because they said not Bree. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who else would. Nobody is. <laughs> the only other person that could is Mike, and I, I doubt it. He's on vacation now. He oh. might be. Get a load, get a load. Anthony from Wisconsin. All the way up, man. Boy, I bet it does feel good up there. <laughs> Carolyn from Louisville, Kentucky. I've seen a lot of videos where the cicadas have been bad up in Kentucky near Louisville. We haven't really seen hardly any around here, have y'all? Anthony said good morning from Wisconsin. Morning, morning. Jeffrey from Anderson, Indiana. And then Roger from Green River Lake. In Cansville, Kentucky. <laughs> Billy Black, uh, Billy Black was asking, "Where's the crappie?" They catching them down off Point of Green Island, right out there, not quite out in deep water, but right on the edge of a 10, 12 foot of water. They caught a bunch of them Saturday and Ooh, she has her hands full. Christine has 11 children, ages mm. range four to 12. Bless your Lord, huh? I don't even know how she keeps up with all of them. I couldn't. Ain't no way. <laughs> Donald asked about do we have a grand 14 year old grandson price plan? Unfortunately, with Lee, if you don't have two people, we do require a two person minimum, and then children 12 and under stay free as long as you don't have an extra room or an extra boat. But call down, we might be able to do something for you. Michael said, morning from Parsons, Tennessee. Parsons, what's happening down in Parsons? Rick said, catch him from Mitchell, Illinois. What you after him, buddy? Larry said, good morning, blessing to see you both from Greenville, Mississippi. Jerry said hello from Crump, Tennessee. Chuck from Cincinnati said hello. Hello, Chuck. Levi said what's going on from North Chicago, checking in. And we after these fish. I put running over top of them like that. Yeah, for all you that haven't been on as long, we, we were doing really good starting out. Here they are. Quite a few blue, big bluegill in there. David said morning. Ooh, everything. <laughs> You're running on them over the ranch. And them lily pads, you can't see them until you get on top of them. Robert from Youngston, Ohio said hello. He caught one nice fish for you. Give me just a second, fans. I'm going to get some more real quick. Jeff said hello, Mr. Toothpick from wishing you a great fishing trip. I've never heard someone say Mr. Toothpick. He keeps getting more and more gray in his beard. <laughs> Brittany sharing it with a friend selling the place she was talking about. I always enjoy seeing that. Oh, yeah. Steve said hello from Lake City, Arkansas. Freddie from Carisville, Kentucky. <laughs> Chuck said the cicadas are awful in Cincinnati as well. Oh, really? 
Nick was asking how's the real foot for bass fishing, Billy. Bass fishing good. I went yesterday. That's good for you. Ain't complaining about it at all. Get him! Go early. Robert said good morning from Lake Charles. Lake Charles, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. right, so. Sai said fish on, fellas, from Ohio. Good. We have some Drew asking for, is anyone have an above average chicken enchilada recipe? I don't know where that came. I don't know of one right off the top of my head. Do y'all? No, I don't. Someone on here might, if y'all anyone wants to answer him. Be glad to. I always want to help out anyone on here. I have some good recipes from Bluegill. All you got to do is fillet them, put them in a little bit of cornmeal, and fry them. I do not. I'm going to go with Mr. Ryan. I don't want to butcher your first name. Say, so get them, boys, Alabama. Anthony asks if there's a website he can go to, Billy. Bluebankresort.com. Or on Facebook, we've got several links down below there you can click on to get to. And then Don said hello from Miami. Miami. We're getting people from all over Tennessee. Not all over Tennessee. All over the United States. They <laughs> don't like that trolling motor chopping on. Chris said, Good morning, fellas. Can't wait to get down there to fish in the fall. Right on. The fall got some good fishing in it. A lot of people overlook the fall. Yes, they do. Fall That's makes for. Sai said we forgot to pick him up this morning. He wasn't standing there at the boat. Yeah, if you were by the boat this morning, we would have taken you out. Sean said hello from Ricky Bobby from Rocky Pot Point, North Carolina. And Rick said, you must be fishing your secret spot. Doesn't see anyone else around. Ain't nobody out here this morning. I don't understand. Yeah, I didn't see. We didn't hardly see anyone coming out here. There was just a few boats. I don't know why no one's fishing this morning. Jackie said hello from Mississippi. Mike said tight lines from Columbus, Indiana. Tony said, good morning from Memphis. Morning, morning. Woo! Hey. Russ said, let's see him, Billy. Good morning. Yeah. Perfect timing yeah, for, right for to see him. Doesn't run over another one. <laughs> you didn't get it run it. over. Uh, oh, ooh. Well, Dodged the hook this morning. Just about got you hooked. Three, three, three. Sorry, I, 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 I was holding the crickets and I was dodging the hook. and That, my, that, was, that was more of my concern. <laughs> Jason was asking how's the catfishing, Billy? Catfishing good. It's gonna get better here in about four or five more days, but it's good. Matt said good morning from St. Louis. Ooh. Are you kidding me? They strike too. I know. Same fish, I think he's just gumming it. He doesn't need it again. Ooh. That's how you do it, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Good. Another good one. I'm having to watch your hook. Old real here. foot bluegill right there. Yes, it is. Check us out on our website, bluebankresort.com. Again, Facebook, Blue Bank Resort. Or call them in the office there. Breeze in there answering the phone, 877 Blue Bank. Oh, there we go. Now we got this fish coming in there. Four crickets later, he gets it. I don't hold over too good. Put one out and one. Put one in, one come down. That's a big one. That good eating. Hey. 
filling up this cooler. Bob was asking how the striped bass fishing is. Striped bass, you can catch several, get down there around them shorelines, down in Groomsy Pocket, and one basin, around that grass worm shed, or take you a beetle fin or a small minnow and catch them. Tim Madden said hello from ba Baton Rouge. Yes, Keek said more from Chicago. He said we're in a good area. I would say so. Or he's in a good area. One of the two. <laughs> Kenny said he and his wife are thinking about coming down to get away from Jamestown, Kentucky. He said good morning. Good morning. It'll be a great time. Bring her down, let her catch some of these bluegill. <laughs> Keek said he'll be down in a few weeks in Tennessee. Comes a lot to escape Chicago. He ain't blame me there. He didn't be in there. Woo! I don't want to come out of there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling y'all, I can't express how much fun this is. Penny Coulter said hi from Dyersburg, and it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I don't play in the no more. Cooler's starting to get full. We may have to go stop and drop some off. Drop them off to clean his days and leave. Woo, Chris. Hey, we did have Chris answer the enchilada recipe for you. Left a link in there and everything. Told you someone would help you out this morning. A little bit of enchiladas. <laughs> we need to make bluegill enchiladas. We still got to do that bluegill meatloaf. Yeah, no kidding. Donnie said good morning from Nashville. Good morning down in Nashville. Brian said morning from Clarksville. He loves duck hunting, but never been down there fishing. Love duck hunting. I like it duck hunting a little bit myself. <laughs> Billy hardly misses a day during duck season. Don't miss a day. You really don't miss a day doing either one. <laughs> no, not really. How many days have you got it this year? Probably be easier to count the days you missed than the days you got. Yeah. That's about the truth. <laughs> and most of the days you missed this year, you were turkey hunting. Mm hmm Had to chase them turkey a little bit. Two or three days. Didn't play you long, though, did he? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, you did get him. Hold him in there. He got him. There we go. Oh, that's so good. Come on, I'm surprised you got him in the way he was looking. Keek said he might be moving down if he can find some work on auto sales down here. It's hard enough to find. Yeah, it's easy if you can find one. Woo! Billy's there, got buddy. another one. Yeah, get you some of that. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll take that all day. Another nice one. Lay up there. I mean, you can't beat them fish right there now. That's mm -hmm. just as good as it gets. Penny said pretty fish there. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, we got Ruben from Mexico saying hello. Down in Mexico. Looks like a time for a bluegill trip, don't <laughs> Maybe you see if he'll trade out trips. We'll let him come down here and we'll go visit him. David said good morning from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. I like Nashville. You like to have me go visit. That's one of my favorite things. I ain't been in a while. Bob's inviting his friends to miss out on Kentucky Lake and come down here instead. I would recommend that. Catch more fish. Pretty scenery. I'm telling yeah. you, if you like wildlife and scenery, you ain't gonna beat it. You can't beat all these trees and lily pads all around. Ben was asking what size hook, Billy. I use a 
seal, the one I'm using today is a number eight cricket hook. I like a number eight or a number six. I love the number six. That's the why I use a six. Dennis said hello from Camden, Tennessee. We'll be seeing us down for some catfishing. Sound good. Ruben said he wants to see some big fish. I'll just open up this cooler real quick. <laughs> Quite a few big ones down in here. Get him, Billy. I got him. Right. Billy almost missed one. Yeah, he, he was almost in the Paducah. Hey, you might, I might be <laughs> dipping it on this one. Yeah, right. I'm telling you, it's a four pass call. Oh, yeah, I drew <laughs> <laughs> Wrong He was right, it was big, but it's not the fish we were looking for. That don't count, really. <laughs> it is something different. <laughs> Clay said good morning from Alexandria, Indiana. Good morning up in Indiana. Jeff said good morning from Floyd, Ken Floyd County, Kentucky. Sean said hello from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Lawrenceburg, I know what to make there. Yes, sir. Todd said this is funny. I think everyone and their brother knows how to catch bluegill. Hey, I've seen a lot of people know how, but I've also seen some people that definitely don't know how to catch them. No matter what you know, it's having fun doing it. So I'm thinking, I want them to eat. I don't care. They're my favorite tasting fish. With crappie being a close second. Which Matthew says he's asking, when does the fall crappie start biting? Just get outside. Go fishing. Go hiking. Whatever. Just get outside and enjoy the outdoor. Ooh, look at that pretty. This is just the way I enjoy. That's a nice one. Ooh, we got a new recipe. Bluegill tater tots. Mm. So he dices the gills, shredded taters, little egg wash, ball them and fry them. Really? I'm, that sounds pretty good to me. We may need to do the meatloaf with the side of tater tots. <laughs> Ooh, come on, be. Sound pretty good. That's what I was thinking. Michael, don't worry, we're catching just enough for lunch for us. Big fingers. <laughs> Jack from Memphis says hello. Howdy, howdy. Sean from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee says hello. Got a few from Lawrenceburg. Cabela says good morning from Kentucky. Good morning, good morning. Daniel says good morning from Wichita, Kansas. Cabela says hello from Dansville. Danville, not Dansville. Clark said yummy on some of them. Woo! Yeah, baby, yeah. I don't matter. Look at that. Oh, come out of there. You hooked two more. Oh, you wrapped around a bit. Yeah. Russ said bluegills are the best station fish. Yes, I definitely sir. agree. I agree. I love it. I'm bluegill. Bob was asking how deep we're fishing and the water temperature. Deep. That's what I was thinking. I couldn't think of the temperature one. Give me one second. Uh, we'll take the one button. Eighty-five point five. She warmed up last week. Yeah, yeah. she's face. warmed up real good. Look at her. I lost my cricket, told me. <laughs> 
Ken said he's making his arm twitch from Indianapolis. <laughs> A few people saying they're digging those tater tot recipes. Oh, woo, Billy's got another one already. No, look at there, boy. He got some big shoulders on. Come out there. Woo, it's a real good one. I'm telling y'all, y'all better check this place out. Bluebankresort.com. Facebook, Blue Bank Resort. Real Foot Lake, located in the northwest corner of Tennessee. Great time to be here. JB said morning from Indiana. We got guides. We got package deals. Everything you need, we got. Alan Billy was at. Alan Billy was asking. Billy Allen was asking. There we go, if I can say it right. You going to be in the Indianapolis for the boat sport and travel show yes, this sir. year? Sure, I'll be there. When they open the doors, I will be there. Oscar asking, what's the bait? It's right over here. Crickets. Rodney said, hello from Paragould, Arkansas. Paragould. Adam said, crappie and walleye are better. I will say walleye are pretty good. As well, crappie's my second. I like crappie. I like I like all fish now. Don't get me wrong. Say that I'll, I'll eat fish, fish any day. Anthony was asking what bait. I'll show you again. Crickets right here. Nice and easy to catch them on these things. And we are finally caught up to comments. So I'll be live from a little bit. Andy Grimm from Can. Yep, I'm just going to say Illinois. Bob, we do have a bait store on our property. Jack, say good morning. He would like to be out here. Jim also saying he wishes he was here. Right on. I wish somebody was. <laughs> Charles said he from Hugh Spring, Texas, said he wished he was down here again. He'd been down here a couple times. Loves the place. Jim said hello from Princeton, Indiana. What was that, Billy? Everett said, great pan fishing. Been catching, eating them all my life. Ingram was letting me know. It says Kankakee. That, there we go. I was like, I knew it was closer, and I just gave up. Kankakee is where he was from. Cabela has a question. Do we have any fishing videos with white bass? Say I don't I don't know of any of them we do. Come on, there we go. Ooh. And I'm telling y'all, I can't express how much fun this is. Larry said hello from Candace, Ohio. Look here, you can get the whole little. Get him, Richard! Get him! Get him! Ah, uh -huh. get your fish! Don't worry about that fish. He's in the He's boat. In the boat. Get the one that ain't in the boat. <coughs> Terry, you're right. We are baiting with crickets. He was saying, if we're catching them this big, we must be using crickets. Yep. Get it. Ooh. My goodness. Not do about that. He was hooked. He you about hooked a Billy. Be one of the biggest fish you catch today. I 
Josh saying he's looking for a place to fish for some crappie. Come on, man, we got crappie. They caught the fire at them if we... Says he loves the lake, grew up fishing every summer, growing up, still got family down there, so he needs to visit sometime soon. Right on. Come back next month, perfect. Get him, Billy. Check get him, Rick. It. Woo! Come out of there, get off at Lily Face. Got two fish right here Daniel. at the same time. Blue Bank Resort. Bluegill fishing right now. You can't beat it. They're on the beds, going strong. Check us out on Facebook, Blue Bank Resort. Check out our website, www.bluebankresort.com. Even call us in the office. Breeze in there answering the phone, 877 Blue Bank. I'm Billy Blakely, head guide here at Blue Bank Resort. Glad y'all enjoyed the video. We got Richie Perry, new guide for us. And we're going to get off here and catch us some more fish for supper.